Hello everyone, today I'm back in Homestead and um, I've been uh, I've been messing around um, previously with a whole bunch of stuff um, we have uh, managed to not fix the um, the hopper last time uh, and I still haven't done that well sort of I guess um, we've also put some uh, coal in here in the coke oven and we've got a whole bunch of creosote oil oil sorry um, uh, but unfortunately can't remember why uh, I needed it for what I needed it for uh, so that's gonna stay in there for some time I guess um, so I have figured out something f um, for this uh, for this hopper so in order to uh, not uh, make it spawn ghasts you have to change the soul sand um, block uh, so I've been doing that and uh, I've almost gone through all my ground netherrack um, also I still haven't figured out uh, why it, it's not powered. Uh, it's it's supposed to be powered from the side like this. Um, this uh, this thing spins uh, uh, usually, um, so it should be it should be in working order. So I have no idea why it's not working, uh, but I can get through that by just um, changing the uh, changing the soul sand, uh, and that should hopefully uh, get us through. Uh, so let's just um, flush this uh, nether rack through, I guess. Uh, I've got a fresh uh, soul sand in there, so uh, it can do a maximum amount of seven. Um, so we have to change it now. Um, there we go. And do two more. Perfect. Okay. Um, right, so let's just dump this in here. Uh, and as you can see, I have now three ingots of concentrated hellfire, which means that I'm able to make the uh, the thingy for the quest, whatever it's called. Um, let's see. Um, it is called the Hibachi, that's the one. Okay, so let's just grab all of my ingots from in here and see what else I need for that thing. Um, I think it's fairly simple. Okay, so I need some stone, uh, heating elements, some redstone and the three concentrated hellfire. That's pretty, uh, pretty standard, pretty easy. Uh, the, the heating element is just place powder, string and redstone, so I should have a couple of blaze rods, I can turn one into some blaze powder, perfect, and then I can have a redstone, uh, I should have some stones somewhere, oh yeah I have some on me, uh, what else do I need, let's see, uh, okay so I need to craft the actual heating element thing. So let's do that. Can I? Oh, that's made in a cauldron. Fine. Okay, I need some string for that as well. Um, there we go. Let's just dump all of that into the cauldron. Um, right. So this one of them and one of them that should make me a heating element uh, I have an extra concentrated hellfire there as well um, and also I have to um, fix these torches by look by looks uh, so these torches are are actually quite interesting uh, you have to relight them every so often uh, because they go out slowly, and I think that's kind of cool. it's a list. Um, so I kind of like it. Um, 
we have uh, made a couple of fridges if you remember uh, last time uh, still have those up here got one for the meat and this one's just empty because I it makes two um, just I don't know why um, but that's what we have that's pretty cool uh, let's take a quick sleep I believe we actually have a, uh, a, a pretty much completed kitchen now uh, I did the quest uh, at least for the kitchen um, I'm not sure if there's any other like counters and stuff I, I don't really think so I think we uh, pretty much got everything uh, so that's pretty cool okay so we've got a heating element right here uh, let's just craft this all together into the hibachi now I'm not sure excuse me what the hibachi exactly is um, but I think it's about it's something uh, to do with um, like smelting um, metals maybe I'm not sure I guess we're gonna find out um, I'm sure it says in the quest book as well okay so we've got this thing and let me just please just tell me that it it has detected it yep beautiful okay um, okay so it says it's the upgrade to flint and steel we create a constant flame when given a redstone signal and can be stoked with the bellows to put out even higher temperatures okay this will be necessary for some future recipes fine okay so we've done that and we have another quest open here bellows nice that's pretty cool uh, the bellows will act to stroke uh, sorry to stoke the fire from a hibachi and increase its temperature this is a note this is noticeable as a brilliant blue flame that's pretty cool okay uh, it must be powered by mechanical energy to function okay we've got some of that however it will only compress while receiving power you must alternate between powered and unpowered to maintain maintain a stoked flame okay so I, I have to use a redstone clock I guess the best way to do this is to provide a redstone signal to a gearbox which disables its operation yeah okay that's pretty that's pretty straightforward um, I just have to uh, make sure the redstone clock is set right I guess um, apply a redstone signal to activate the clock uh, every two seconds okay I'm gonna try to do that okay right let's just try and craft some bellows and uh, we'll, uh, we'll have these two machines put down as well um, right okay so I need some leather belts and some cut leather and some wood sidings uh, and this is just leather straps I believe I still have some leather straps. I've got some cut leather as well. Let's see. Um, there's some shears that I'm probably gonna need. And there's some tanned leather. But it looks like I don't have any cut leather, which is kind of weird. Let's just dump this shit in here. Um, anything else I can dump? Yeah, the blaze powder. Okay. Yeah, I can't see. I've got some sidings which I'm gonna need, but I can't see any uh, any wood strips. Uh, so I guess we're gonna have to make some. Right, let's just do that then. Um, so got those. Okay, so I need. I just need like two or eight to make two belts. Um, and then I need three cut leather, which means, do I have any more? No, which means I'm going to have to make some cut leather. Uh, so there we go. There's four cut leather. Perfect. Um, I need a gear as well. There's some gears in here. Perfect. And, uh, that should do. Oh, we need to craft the actual belts as well okay there we go we've got some bellows now um, let me just quickly make the redstone torch as well um, 
because that's gonna come in handy and I need it for the quest there it is, redstone clock okay so I need some redstone torches some redstone and some cobble okay fine um, is there a special recipe for redstone torches or is it just vanilla it's just vanilla okay now do I have any sticks anywhere oh yeah I've got 58 on me that should be nice let's take some of this redstone so I need four um, I need four redstone torches I believe so let's make some of them perfect and then uh, then I need some more redstone and some cobble let's see if I've got any cobble anywhere there should be some in here probably yeah there's some, there's some cobble okay oh does it need to be vanilla hmm let's just let's just try it with this I don't have any vanilla cobble because uh, I'm in a biome that's like doesn't have any of that so that could prove to be tricky yes indeed maybe I do have some I seem to remember collecting some from the the weird tower next door maybe um, because I thought it would come in handy yes okay so we've got three I just need one more there's some moss here um, I'm not sure if I can get rid of the moss though okay so let's just uh, go around check out the surroundings here and see if there's any more uh, just a vanilla cobble uh, that that spawned with this tower so we got some stone brick that is not very really useful uh, we got some fence oh, Jesus there's a lot of leaves here on the ground it's like a jungle in here Jesus okay so no around here is there some up there oh yeah there is I think um, let's go into the tower then if I can remember where the door is uh, I think it's up up like facing the water maybe I'm not sure there's a door, yeah. Is there any cobble around here? Um, um, is this... No, that's bricks. And this is mossy. Um, okay, fine. Oh yeah, normal stone. Oh, those, that's the pressure plate. Normal stone would work as well, I guess. Um, there's some cobble, hello. Oh shit, that was painful. Okay, I have myself some cobble. Um, I'm not sure why the recipe only uses vanilla one, but I guess that's fine. Um, right, let's just slap this together, replace these things with the vanilla stuff. Perfect. There we go. We have a redstone clock. Okay. Um, and now I think it's time that we just drop some of this shit and then uh, go ahead and uh, put down the stuff that we just crafted. Uh, let me just also throw out some stuff like oak saplings and shit. Um, what else do I need to throw out? A music disc. Okay. Right. So, these things need power. Mm, both of them. So, I guess I could put them on this side, maybe. Mm, that would be pretty cool. Uh, we're going to need some more uh, axles for that. Because um, uh, I don't think I have any more left. No. Okay, let's see. I've already forgotten how those are crafted. Let's see. Okay, so it uses um, some moldings and some rope. I should have some moldings in here, probably. Maybe? Maybe not. Okay, I'm just gonna use full 
Oh, we got some. We got one molding. Okay, fine. That's, I don't need that. Um, just gonna use blocks or planks. Um, I'm gonna need some hemp rope though. I've got some raw hemp. I should have like a shit ton of hemp fibers. Oh yes. Uh, I'm just blind. Okay. Um, how do I make rope again? Okay. Uh, yeah. Like four. Four should do. Um, save the rest of the string. And just make a couple of them. Thing is, 12 axles. That's nice. Uh, probably gonna need some more gearboxes, maybe, but I'm not sure, so let's just try this. Okay, so, I guess these things need to be, uh, right next to each other. Um, which is a thing, maybe. So, I guess we're gonna first put down the Hibachi. I think that's a, I think that's a, a reasonable idea. Um... Let's put it here, okay, and then the bellows, I guess, need to go right next to that thing. There they are. Um, let's see what the quest book says. Uh, let's see. Oh, it, it definitely needs a gearbox, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. I think I'm just gonna put it right next to this, like here, and then there's gonna be a gearbox. Oh, that's not gonna work. Ah, that's pretty annoying. Um, well, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to like snake this around somehow. Okay, let's see. So maybe I could have it like go this this direction instead. Um, yeah, that's that's fairly annoying. I could I could build like a couple more gearboxes. They are fairly cheap, so I think that should be fine actually. Uh, let's see. Uh, so we're gonna need... we have some wood, I believe, yes. Um, do we have any more? We have quite a few bits of wood there. And let's make some more gearboxes. Uh, at least two more, I believe. Uh, should do the trick. Oh yeah, they're so cheap though. It's incredible. Just like make a, a whole bunch of wooden gears. And then... There we go. Perfect. And uh, we're gonna put these like. I have to think about this. So. Hmm. Maybe I wanna do this like two blocks away from that gearbox, maybe. I'm not really sure. I think I want it like this. So, have an axle, go out there, and then have a gearbox. I'm also going to need some dirt to put it down properly. Um, gearbox here. That plugs in there. And then, uh, then I can have like. Uh, these things need to be in line. So that's that's the problematic bit, uh, but I guess I could do that like this. So basically, I have an axle here, and then we have the bellows there. So that's hopefully gonna work. This gearbox here is gonna have the redstone clock, um, and then we're gonna have another gearbox, which is gonna come off of this gearbox. And that is going to go right here. Okay. Oh, but those things need to be... Okay, I can make that axle longer, so that's fine. This is going to be another axle. 
and we're gonna have the hibachi over here okay and then I'm gonna move this thing uh, over like so and hopefully this is gonna work now okay so this one's just gonna work uh, all the time uh, and this one here is gonna be toggled so I need my redstone clock um, how does this thing work uh, I believe it says in the in the quest log um, I think it needs a, a like a, a redstone signal that's pretty pretty obvious but I'm not sure if it needs like a torch or a lever let's see uh, Apply a redstone signal to activate the clock. Okay. So I guess uh, I can do whatever. So maybe. Oh god, I need cobblestone for that, don't I? Let's just make make a lever. So that I have more control over the whole thing. Um, cobble, please. Yes, thank you. Um, sticks, perfect. Okay, hopefully this works. If not, I guess I can make uh, a torch as well. Okay. So we're gonna have the redstone clock. Uh, I guess it's gonna have to be like I don't know. Maybe it can be right next to this possibly and then have this lever okay so that works uh, how do I change the time though so it's like three seconds now I need to make it shorter oh okay um, what is 20 ticks though Hmm. Who knows? I literally I have no idea. So maybe like make it fifteen thirteen. Okay. That should work maybe. Um Maybe a bit more though. Like 15, yeah. I think that's like 2 seconds. Okay. So that's the thing that works, hopefully. Um, and then... We can have... The whole thing turned on, I guess. Maybe. And see if it works. Oh. Did the fucking windmill break again? There wasn't a storm, was there? Hmm, I guess there was. Okay, fine. I'm gonna have to go and fix the windmill again. There's also a bunch of tree bits on the on the roof as well. Yeah, it's broken. Okay. Come on. Eh. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to replace that from the outside, won't I? Hmm. Oh, is it not broken? What the hell? That's a bit weird. It was there just no wind? Is that a thing that can happen? I I literally I have no idea. That's just... It's definitely not broken. Okay, fine. So I guess I'm gonna replace that from the outside. Obviously. And it's night time, so let's just quickly take a nice quick sleep. Uh, then I'll shove that thing in from the outside. Um, and then we'll see if it works or not. Uh, it could be just that there wasn't any wind 
Oh, Jesus. Where's my bow? That guy's wearing armor. He's got a pickaxe as well. There we go. Oh, and I got a leather cap. Just what I need. Perfect. Okay, let's just nerd pull up here. Um. Oh, jeez. Come on. Okay. And... How do I place this thing? That's the question. Is there a gap there? Okay. Nope. That did not work at all. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, can I... Can I pick that thing up? If I break it? Oh, for Christ's sake, windmill. Stop being in the way. Why does dirt fall in this, for Christ's sake? Come on. Don't do this to me. Okay. Let's just try and break that thing. Nope. Not a chance. Okay. Um, and... Windmill, please. Stop being in the way. Oh, for Christ's sake. Come on. Are you serious? I have to pretty much dismantle all of the windmill if I want to replace the stupid thing. Okay, fine. Um, there you go. Hope you're happy now. Let's just replace the stupid axles here as well. Okay. That should work now. Hopefully. Uh, why is there... Oh. Oh shit. Was this... Is this the problem right here? I think that might have been the problem actually. And I didn't notice the problem. The problem is, obviously, that a giant tree has grown right into my stupid windmill. So, mm, that is obviously quite problematic. And um, we're going to have to get rid of it. Perfect. Yes, it works. Oh, I just did all of that work for nothing. Anyway, um, windmills back online. We're gonna test the machines next time, I guess. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did so, you can press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, hopefully, you will join me next time, and uh, I will see you then.